First move, computer. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer. Mana charge. Player. Draw card. Mana charge. Kind of expected a pass, to be honest. Leapfrog Bandit. This is the set one Byleth Scourge deck. I really don't like this deck. There is too much chance for. Crafty plays. There's a lot of very powerful cards in this deck Summon. that do a lot of really annoying things. Fields get flipped, fields get switched. You pay for that. Oh. Computer. And everything Draw just hits really hard. Mana charge. Starting with the spells early. Goalie Alter, both players receive mana equal to the number of enemies on the field, so he gains one mana. There's only my creature on the board. That's nasty to get a five cost out on turn two, but he's not taking it. Mana charge. He's not taking it. That is a good thing. Imperial Byleth Guard. Right, what we got? We're going Imperial Byleth Guard, Catapult, a Tank, Morning Star Warrior, Freedonian Wanderer, and a Byleth Bomber. Oh, Christ, I forgot Byleth Bombers and Tanks are in this. The shenanigans are going to be ridiculous. Um, I might as well just take this Fire Space. I know I'm leaving myself open to be punched Summon. by a Taurus Monolith, but at the moment, I haven't got much of a choice. I don't want to use all my mana, and he's got a massive mana lead. Draw card. Mana charge. Now, there is an Ouroboros Dragon in this mana deck release. as well. But we've got to be careful of that, so... Summon. That's three cost. That's a definite Byleth. Imperial Byleth Guard, probably the tamest of the guards in this deck. Draw card. I'm okay with that. Mana charge. I am very okay with him having that. Tritone and Ice Guard. Oh, wow, that is RNG at its best. Okay, uh, yeah. Mana release. I will very happily play that. Summon. Because now I can't be punched. There is one Taurus Monolith in the deck, and it punches both fields in front of it. If he'd have summoned onto that space, I could have lost both of my creatures. Unlocked. But now we get into the scary part, because summoning lock is now off. Computer. And having creatures around with three health and four health really isn't a lot Mana when everything charge. can hit for that. Mana release. Oh, that's a big cost. That's a four. Summon. Morning Star Warrior adds two to its attack if its target creature has five or more HP, which it doesn't. But it's still gonna hit for two. Ugh. Me no likey. Counter attack. Player. Don't think did anything Draw because Mana charge. they have protection if I'm aware. Now then, what can we do here? I could buy Lith Bomber, but I'm going to take a lot of damage because there's nothing I can do really about it. Sorry, that didn't make sense. It did in my head, but 
not out loud. I was going to say I could buy this bomber his Morning Star Warrior by putting it in the water space on the front, but half of that damage will get blocked. Because the Morning Star Warrior has protection. I could bomb him from the Earthfield in the top right corner. Or bomb the Imperial Guard, which will deal two damage. That's an option. I've got a catapult, which is even better. I can remember for once that I've actually got a pull of cards. <laughs> I can see what I'm doing. Oh, there's the other Morning Star Warrior. That's not really helpful. Um. Okay. That Leapfrog Bandit is going to die next turn. At the moment, I'm considering just... the Novogus Catapult. And attacking his... God. So it only takes one to reactivate. Which to me sounds like a very fair trade. Yeah. Mana release. But at least this is going to force him to do one thing. Oh my god, I've only got Byleth now. This is not good. Um, <laughs> this is going to cause him to do one thing. Well... Not one thing, but this, basically something's going to happen. Next turn, if he doesn't heal that Pilot Guard, I'm going to pelt it for one damage. I have that option, and I can kill it. But I am now check. He's got to kill something, and he's going to kill the Leapfrog Bandits. Which means he can only summon there. Summon. I mean, it's enough. Attack. It's more than enough. This does do one thing, though. He's killed that, so that gives me a mana. mana charge. What do we do with mana, ladies and gentlemen? We buy big, fat battle tanks with it. So uh, that is going to be my play. Thousand percent I'm doing that. Redonium Wanderer. No, sorry, you are not a battle tank. I can kill two creatures here with one. That's going to give him five mana. He's not in a position where he can summon a tank to kill two of my cards. That will leave me with a 6 health, 5 health, 3 health, and 4 health. So, I'm liking this, but I've got a feeling there is some really nasty shenanigans coming. There is either a Byleth Groundbreaker, Summon. or... Attack. Can he afford an Ouroboros Dragon? Ouroboros Dragon could get him out of this. Just someone in a tank could get him out of this. They can only kill one, ca one card with it. Mana charge. Mana charge. Eilith Bomber could be used. But I don't think it can really kill anything. He is now limited on what he can actually kill me with. But he will have exactly what he needs because it's the computer. Mana charge. Mana release. One cost water. Is that a knock and harder? Nope, it's a spell. Summon a Mesmer's Errand. I didn't get to read what that does, I can never remember. Draw two cards. So he's drawing two cards. 
For one cost. Four cost. This is going to hurt. Summon. Behemoth Groundbreaker flips the fields in all spaces around it, so that's now gonna kill Radonium Wanderer. I told you that, <laughs> that thing was coming. And it knocks two health off of my Attack. Catapult. Because it's now not sat on an Earth element. But even though he's dealt one damage to it, it's still a three health creature. It's it's tanky. Good. Very good. Mana charge. Very good indeed. Right. I'm left with three mana, so I can summon an Imperial Biolith Guard, which is not bad at all. I can summon a Biolith Bomber, which also is really not bad at all. I can deal th three damage? I potentially can deal three damage with that. That's impressive. That might be the play. I've got to draw a card, though. No. Leapfrog Bandit! No, you're not going to help me. Right, we're going with the Bomber. Bomber into... Oh. Eyelift Bomber adds two to its attack if the target creature has a summoning cost of two or lower. Not what I thought it would do. Um... The issue I've got is if there is a Taurus Monolith. Or he needs five mana for one of them. This is tricky. Do I cover the top left space and protect my tank and my... Actually, there is a problem here. If I summon into the top left corner, and he summons into the center, and attacks my tank, my tank's gonna shoot wherever I shoot or into that top left corner, so I'm not doing it. In that case, I'll stick with the original plan. Not gonna deal as much damage as I thought. Summon. But it still will deal... Attack. Two damage. Because it's hitting the rear. Yes, while there's no fishes of goalie in the deck, there is a Byleth Groundbreaker, which is just a souped up version. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to deal with. Three cost, this might be a Byleth bomber. Yep. That is going to go straight to my. Yeah, to my ice guards. Can it kill it? Yeah. That's two to its attack. I, mm. Bombers are the bane. You really are. Mana charge. I still have advantage. Just not getting the bloody mana. Hey, they. Mm. Don't like this. I don't like this at all. Might as well see what we got anyway. Oh, there's the other Triton Ice Guard. Okay. 
Well, that could work. He's not got a lot of mana. That'd be forcing him to... Activate his bomber again to kill it. Yeah, that's a good bait, actually. I like that. Yeah, we're doing it. Mana release. Summon. I don't want to put creatures diagonally to each other. It just asks for a tank to get summoned. But he can't summon one anyway. I need to survive this round, and I've got him. One cost. That's not going to kill anything. Oh no, it's a card. That's the second summon of Mesmerzeren, so he's cut, spent one of his three mana to draw two more cards, so that knocks out every Biolith from being summoned. Mana release. That is probably a Leapfrog Bandit. Summon. Monk Elder of Okanada. Sorry, Bob. But victory shall be mine. But it won't be got with an Ouroboros Dragon. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, we'll just do Leapfrog Bandit. Can anything mess with it? Nope. Face it towards mine to be sure. Mana release. There's a lot of flipping of fields and a lot of very tanky creatures Sonic. in this deck. You've got to be careful with it. <laughs> Too many shenanigans. I do not like it. Do it's not good. Player wins. 